So and now we would like to put the probes on the system. I have two 67 gigahertz MPI Titan probes here, two cables connected to uh, the vector network analyzer from Rodin Schwartz uh, ZNA67 uh, model and two RF probes. So what you see here also is the shield cap. This is a protective cover which seals the, the shield environment of MPI probe system. We will put it at the very last step after the probes are installed. So first of all, what I usually do, I check the serial number of the probe. So this is uh, 839 and 840. And I prefer to have a smaller number on the left side and the larger number on the right side, just for consistency of keeping the measurements uh, in line. Well, open the probe box. Remove uh, the protective cover of the probe. Put it aside. Remove the probe out of the box. We close the box, we don't need it anymore. Remove it from our working area. And now we need an Allen key, three millimeter. And we bring the probe into the chamber and put it on the probe arm. So you probably do not see it from here, uh, but uh, on the MPI probe arms, uh, we have the uh, special plastic stripes which hold uh, the screws in place. So you don't need to uh, remove the screw and bring it back to the probe arm with the risk that you drop it into the chamber. The screws are always attached to the stripes and stripes are attached to the probe arm. So the scr screws are always at the right place where they should be. So you simply bring the screw to the hole of the probe and uh, bolt it down. This is it, so the probe is on the place. We uh, do exactly the same thing for the right, for the right probe. So remove the sill, open the box, remove the cover, put it aside, remove the probe. We don't need the box anymore. So bring it into the chamber, put it on the probe arm, and fix it. Just one screw, and then another screw. All right, props are fixed. Uh, let us connect the cables. We take the cable very gently, without any additional cable arrangement, we simply move it through the mechanical chamber. And I also would like to use the cable guides, which are available on MPI positioners. They help us to lead the cables in the right direction through the mechanical fit-through of the shield environment system. Then the cable, make sure that your cable nut is in parallel uh, to the connector of the probe. And carefully rotate the nut until it's fully fixed on the probe body. <clears throat> Tighten it with the torque wrench and we are down here. So same, uh, same procedure, same operation on the right hand side probe. So guide it through the guide, move it inside. Okay, connect to the cable. So the cable not to the probe, just align them and carefully rotate the nut. Don't apply any pressure, so the cable nut should actually move to the probe connector by itself. And after it's done, simply use the torque wrench to fix it. We are done. So now the probes are attached. So next step for us is to put the sliders back. 
pull the shelf cap. Just four screws. So now the chamber is sealed and it will be fully sealed after we uh, move the microscope into the focus position. Uh, so initially I would like to bring the probes closer uh, to the center position. So that we will have them in the field of view of the microscope. They're still far from each other, so no damage, and uh, lift the microscope. Bring the microscope down. All right, so we're done.